Hi lovely people, welcome. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. Today, we're talking about relationships and finance. We want to find out how do you handle your finances when you're no longer alone, but you have your better half by your side. Keep us engaged in the comment section at Y254 Unfinished. Let's talk matters concerning money. We have people who save their money in the banks. Some of them prefer to have them in their circles. And my first question of today is, would you rather have a joint saving account with your partner? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I would if it comes to, say we have kids, or we're trying to, to like say plan a trust fund for the kids. Uh, because I think um, it's always, okay, in such a world whereby we have inflation happening every day, it's always nice to plan ahead, you know. Say, it's, it's, I think it's better call it a trust fund than a savings. Because I think when it's a trust fund, you can save some because you have less taxes or even no taxes. So I think, yes, it's, it's not a bad thing. In a world where women are being empowered, as much as the boy child is being disempowered, if that is even a word, or rather a descriptive term, I think it's not a bad thing, you know, it's not a bad thing. We both win anyway, you know. Like you have to have a kid with that person. Set you never trust one I'm to you and I'm jaza. Yes, I would. Because uh, I, I believe that a joint account is something that when we open, all of us will be signatories. And it will help us a bit have some financial discipline so that every month uh, at least we put something there. And after some period of time, we can, uh, we can withdraw the amount and invest it in somewhere where we have all agreed. If we don't agree, we can withdraw the cash and uh, share equally amongst ourselves according to how we contributed. No, no, I will not. Should, uh, I believe kila mtu akwa na pesa zake na sasa tukitengeneza savings account joint i don't think it would work cuz kila mtu akwa na pesa zake na kila mtu akwa na mahitaji zake and these are my savings and i want to use them how i want them how i want to use them cuz such kwa na savings joint we have to share share sharing is a problem depends which partner there's a partner as a wife there's a partner as a friend there's a partner as a, as your spouse so as a wife of course yes I can yes I can because I trust her and she trusts me back joint uh, yeah sure but neza kuwa na yangu on the side separate yeah why right. um I think it's good to have to, to know where both both of you stand with the person konayo your I think it's essential to make a budget yeah na kwanza na economy huwezi taka ku huwezi taka ukae ukae kwa japangeka yeah, even the name is same because finances sign account procedure, but yeah. Well, that really depends on the kind of relationship that we have. Because well, if you're like dating a uh, casual, let, let me use casual because it's sort of, it's sort of uh, the dating where you kind of uh, don't have like a, a future really or a vision planned for you, you know, for both of you. Like you've not really discovered that, you know, you want to spend your life with this person or something like that. Then personally, if you're not like sure that, you know, you, are, you know, we are going for like a long, a really long term kind of thing, like maybe more than a year or something. Then, if you're not doing that, then I don't think I'd do so. Well, you can put in money together to kind of do small projects here and there. But then, a joint account, I think it's kind of a, an overreach because, well, if you guys break up, then the split of that money, then that's where, you know, trouble comes in. Yes, I would. Because if we're intending to be in a relationship, we're supposed to help each other grow. And when we open that joint savings account, I'm so sure that we're going to be growing together. Yeah, maybe. Because I have to trace the password first. 
the background of that person nimjue vizuri cause kuna hao wenye you can join then unakuja mnaendelea the relationship in a hit inakuwa perfect kabisa then unakuja mwisho wiki na kuramba ana so at times before to fungue we for see we say to mesha wana yeah hapo tunaweza wow um to be honest no i don't think i trust my partner like that much at the moment ata kama sina mtu but i feel like when it comes to partnership and money and savings account and anything to just do with like funds you probably do it when you're married and not just like dating yeah uh joint savings account well it depends with how with the extension of the relationship because people are different with different personalities so you don't just judge uh, at the first sight that uh, this person is this way this way you ought to be with them for a couple of days not not days for 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 a long time before you could uh, conclude that these people are this way this way and even after uh, concluding that you know them uh, I think joint account cannot work only marriage that's why it, it can work but joint marriage joint account kwa people who are just starting a relationship that can't work for me it can't work that's my opinion I uh, let me see <laughs> you know it's risky because like life is unpredictable so you don't know if you're probably going to end up together and yeah but just the virtue of that risk alone I uh, would yes open you know for the guest chair part of it but I'll also have other savings besides this uh, joint account with her um for me no why um sometimes i feel we take the role of husbands and wife before we are there so saying that you take a joint account in kazia kwangu in kazia bibi na bwana because you already married that should be like you manage finance together but come to na dates like it's fine i know what you earn it's fine i know what i earn but kila mtu na account yake because at the same time we need space and then at the same time we need to be together so nikisema tuko na joint account we are moving in together we are doing this together then to shall take role your husband and wife and if probably things don't work together it will a very big heartbreak and a lot of nirudishe vitu zangu vitu tungi avoid mapema so for me i think joint account ni kazi ya bibi na bwana kazi yetu ni tujove tutapendana at this moment lakini kila mtu na account yake no i would not allow a joint saving account with my partner because i need the liberty to use my money my hard earned money the way that i want to use it another thing is i also want to evaluate if i'm actually growing or not and that is actually hard to do if we have like a joint account unless we are working on a mutual project together i would not advise that on to our next question do you think the partner that actually earns more than the other should be left to cater for most of the bills let me know what you think yes and no why yes cuz probably if my partner do an earn more and um he knows how to manage money more and I'm a spender I'd rather give him the money cuz I know he would think better than I would think and on even on the other side it could be no cuz he's a quiet and more and let me not unless but I'm the one who's thinking more on investments more on savings and nikimwachia he's thinking on other things so I think the one who should handle accounts is the one who is more um suitable for kwatia pesa no at the same time here we can also decide to be accountable to each other what are we doing with our money what are we doing with it tunataka ku save then i'm accountable to you and you are accountable to me at so it has said yeah hakuna hiyo at you have more you have less whatever we have we are working together as one people so i think it could be a yes depending if one one is a spender and the other one is a saver or it could be a no because it also helps in accountability tunaza group pamoja not really you see a partner should be 50-50 i think ukikuwa na partner na form na kuwa 50-50 but i manishi 50-50 exact sawa so, inaweza kuwa sema wife wangu ana 100,000 mimi na 
So, we should all put everything on the table. Tujue pesa hii, tunafanyia hii. Hii pesa ingine, tunafanyia hii. Alafu life moves on. So, hapo tunagawana rent, shopping, necessities za nyumba, mtoto, nini, nini, one, two. No, it's not fair. It's like you're being punished for being more richer than the other partner. Okay, what you can say is that they can just, you know, give equal contribution, but in the event they feel like they can go the extra length of giving more contribution to their joint account, it's all all right, but it shouldn't be like, you know, cast down on stone that it should be higher amount than the other partner because you're earning more. Yeah, I mean, the reason why it's a partnership is because you're coming in as equal partners. It's not like you're coming in as an investor. I think the breadwinner is the man. Uh, earning more, I don't think in a ingilia sana on provision because that role we already defined. Yeah, that role is already defined. Somebody might be earning more, but he or she is not responsible enough to manage the, the finances. So I think I'll go for the most responsible one in the relationship, should manage the finances. Not necessarily you earning more than me or me earning more than you. Uh, not really. In fact, uh, in a, I, myself, I believe that uh, in a family, a uh, man is the head of the family. So uh, however much the wife is earning, the husband is the head of the family and should uh, take the most uh, should take the responsibility of things like uh, rent and maybe some bills like uh, like uh, electricity bill water bills and such stuff and uh, the the wife should come in in issues to do with the uh, food and uh, shopping all those stuff ah, no 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 because these are a collaboration it's like you're coming in t uh, the two of you are coming in terms, eh? it's like whatever brought you together, I believe you came in terms, you agreed that uh, this is our goal, it's like a goal, eh? or like a mandate, or maybe something you set up together to, to chase. Eh? So whenever you, you, you are working together as a team, then it needs cooperation and efforts from both sides. No, I think they should, they should come to an agreement but what I think is half half is better. No. Itakuwa ni kama ni bias kwa yo familia. We need to at least balance. Because to kisema kwa tunachia mwenye anaka kwa superior managing the finances, that person will feel superior to that family and atakuwa na kiburi. Like for instance, I know myself. Actually, ni kiachu wapo hivyo pia mtafika time nye ni kikosewa naona ni kama mimi njyo kusema kwa hiyo boma. If you earn more, I think that uh, that would be disadvantageous to one party. Um, also, I think I think if we're empowering if we're empowering the girl child, she should also, because I know it's the girl child who maybe is earning more, earning less. The boy child is always a provider. The man is always a provider, naturally. You know, all this empowerment stuff came with uh, the modernization, you know, of uh, our culture. So I think, I think we should cater. You know, say if, if I, I own a house, you know, and I'm with a woman, and she's earning, even if it's earning less than me, I mean, she can buy some things. She can buy the cooking oil. You know, she can buy the, you know, some little things. So I think it's always nice to hold on to one another. As much as I know Pesa ya mwanamke ni mwanamke and a man's money is for both of them. So yeah, I think both of them should cater. Okay, to be honest, kinda yes. For, but okay, for me I feel like it's supposed to be more of us doing it both. But if, you're, if it's the man that's getting more, then of course the man is the provider, so probably he should provide. But if it's me getting more, I wouldn't also mind sharing. But also for him to have like this provider mindset, which makes him more like want to earn more and hard working more so that we all big bring it together and then it's like boom, yeah, okay. financially stable. Uh
Well, not really, because uh, that would be kind of a putting a burden on person. Well, it's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a calculation that says uh, if you earn uh, more than one person, then the contribution should be 60% to 40%. 60% for the one ones more, 40% for the one ones less. That kind of brings a balance because um, it, both sides will feel, you know, I'm contributing, you're contributing. In as much as there's a kind of a range, it's much better than, you know, when somebody is just like, you know, one partner is kind of taking the whole burden to kind of uh, provide for everything. Uh, at some point, you know, the person will think, you know, I'm being used or something, you know. Uh, maybe the other partner, depending whether it's the man or the, or the woman, they might even get lazy or something like that. In my opinion, a man should be the sole provider of the house, regardless of who earns more. And in a case whereby the woman is the one who earns more, I do not support her taking care of the bills because some of you men have tendencies of changing the restaurant when the wallet fattens. And honestly, I am not Bob the Builder. I'm not building you for the next woman. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions. <laughs>